Enterprise is embedded in everything that we do here. We're passionate believers in developing those skills in our young people. The enterprise attributes of uh, being able to innovate, create, to make things happen, to have a can-do attitude, uh, those things are all very important. The Chamber has been very closely involved with Avonborn School over the space of the last three or four years, uh, particularly in terms of the enterprise agenda which the school excels at. Um, and that takes many different forms. We have worked with particularly Chris Hunt, who has uh, set the example for how enterprise can be integrated into the core curriculum uh, at Avonborn School. Well, we're here today to talk about enterprise and employability skills and the way that the two of those have really sort of meshed at this school. Well, we were a bit unclear at the beginning and, you know, not quite sure what they were doing. But when we started talking about the attitudes that we wanted to create, like can-do attitude, risk-taking, creativity, uh, then they all bought into it and uh, there was no problem from there on. Yeah, it's been great because we've gained loads of skills like how to communicate with people, how to plan for our business, how, like, knowing what to do, like our target market. So it'll really help whatever we go into after school. Importantly, Avonborn School teaches the kinds of skills that employers need. So we not only welcome the fact that this is part of the curriculum, but also recognise the successes which the uh, students have achieved. Uh, there's no point in developing enterprise and creating a culture for entrepreneurship if students also don't develop employability skills. So the onus is very much on schools to make sure that our young people enter society equipped with the right skills to become employed. We're doing work experience later this year and so that will give us some vital skills and maybe give us a reality check of what work's actually like. It's fantastic to see how well the skills that the Avonborn students have uh, achieved whilst they've been at the school meet the expectations of the employers. And without exception, the employers say what a fantastic bunch of students they are, which, which we really like. What we're going to be doing is using our employability skills and the way that we assess them as a model out to the rest of the country to see which schools want to get involved with us. We've got a complete package to send out. Um, but uh, which will work and does work now in our own school. And we did a stall to get some funding. Um, we did an Easter raffle. We do Digi Steps, which is teaching old people how to use computers. And the winner is Red Web linked with Avonborn. Full credit has to go to all the pupils, all the girls at Avonborn who have really taken this on and, and taken it to another dimension. Um, They've won trophies, they've been to see the Prime Minister at number 10. They're on the one show in a few weeks' time. The girls are absolutely passionate about enterprise here and you can see that in, in the amount of mini enterprises that they get involved in. They set up mini companies, um, selling things, raising money for charities, social enterprise, um, they get really on board with it. We have a, quite a formal system because we think it's important for the students to understand that you can't just set up a stall and start selling stuff, the, the world doesn't work like that. So they have to apply for a permit and they have to have a lead member of staff and they fill all of that in, go through the whole process, do business plans, costings, so they get a real understanding of actually what the real world is like. Um, we have actually been quite involved. We've been selling um, Save the Children bracelets. Um, we've been selling them for a pound. They're just selling cakes and popcorn and just bracelets and some are for selling phone charms I think which will quite interest people because obviously everyone's got like a phone. In year nine some of us study personal economics so we have a real good understanding of money and profit and net profit and gross profits. Next 12 months going to be really busy because you want some buy-in from other schools throughout the country. We want them to be taking part and to help us develop further and, uh, and to move the whole um, enterprise assessment uh, movement forward. It's, uh, it's a moral duty, isn't it, uh, nowadays? We, we, we need to make sure that uh, our young people don't just inherit a future, but they inherit a future that they can play a part in. And at Avonborn, we are devoted and dedicated to that purpose. Yeah, it's really, really good. It's preparing us for the future.